Good morning, everyone. Father Malcolm here, and this is Joe. And welcome to St. Michael's for our collective worship this morning. Now, as we always do, we're going to begin by lighting our candle because Jesus is the light of the world and he is here with us this morning, as he always is, in our assembly. And so, with our candle alight, let's just bow our heads to have our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus, the light of the world, is here amongst us, shining brightly, showing us the best way to live out our lives day by day. Amen. Amen. Okay, over to Joe. Morning, everyone. Well, as I quite often do at the start of these assemblies, I'm going to ask you a question as I start. First question I'm going to ask you is, how good are you at sharing? Tough question, isn't it? And while you have a think about what your honest answer, your truthful answer might be, I'm going to ask Father Malcolm. Father Malcolm, how good are you at sharing? Uh, most of the time I'm pretty good unless it's something that I really want to keep for myself. Okay. That's not so good, is it? Not so good. Can you stay there for a moment? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a few more questions as the children think about these questions as well. So the next one is, do you always share what you have? Do you always share? Most of the time. Most of the time. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I think... There aren't many of us who share everything all the time, are there, if we're honest? Okay. Tricky, another tricky question. What does it feel like when somebody we're with who has something that we really like to share with them, that they don't share with us? I'm not sharing that with you. How do we feel when that happens? I feel rather sad and disappointed when that happens. Yeah, and I think I'd feel a bit like, are they really my friend? What's wrong with me? Why don't they want to share with me? So it's not a nice feeling, is it? And one more question. Do you think that some things are too small to share? That's quite a tricky question, isn't it? Do you think that some things are too small to share. And I'm going to leave you with that one and leave Father Malcolm with that one, thinking about it. Now, have any of you ever given everything you have to someone else? And I'm guessing, I know for me the answer is no, I haven't. I'm pretty sure the answer for Father Malcolm is no, I haven't. And I'm guessing for most of you, if not all of you, the answer is no, I haven't given everything I have to someone else. But today, we are going to hear a story about a boy who shared everything he had at a particular moment with other people. Over to you, Father Malcolm. I'm going to share this story with you. So I'm just going to get the story here so I don't forget anything from it. So it goes like this. Everyone was so excited about going to listen to Jesus. They all heard about the amazing things that Jesus had done. About the blind who could now see. About the lame who had now been healed. On this occasion, there were thousands of people who'd come to see Jesus. And they'd been listening to him all day without having anything to eat. Everyone was beginning to get hungry, but there were no shops open or takeaways that they could just pop in and buy something to eat. Jesus felt very sorry for all the people in the crowd and asked one of his disciples where they could buy food to feed everyone. His disciples pointed out that it would cost an awful lot of money, more than they could earn in a whole month to feed so many people. But then, one of the disciples 
came across a young boy who had brought his lunch to share. He gave it all to Jesus. Now, in his basket, there were some things that he had to offer. He had five barley loaves. We've only got four here, but he had five barley loaves. And now, if you make your fists like that, your hands are smaller than mine, each barley loaf was about the size of your fist. So they weren't very big. Do you think he could have fed 5,000 people with that? Well, I'll leave you thinking about it. And the other thing was the boy had two fish. Now, uh, I hope to catch some fish tomorrow when I go fishing. But here's my supper tonight. It's two mackerels, more mackerel fillets, okay? And he had two small fish. They were about that size. Have you ever seen a sardine? About the size of a sardine. Now, even though the boy only had this small amount of food, he decided he would like to share it with the crowd of people. And he gave the whole of his lunch to the disciples. Jesus took the food in his hands and said, thank you to God for the food. Jesus then told everybody to sit down and asked his disciples to begin to hand out the food to them all. The young boy was amazed. Not only did his lunch feed the 5,000 people who were gathered in the crowd, there were 12 baskets of food left over. That's an amazing story. That is an amazing story, isn't it? And that young boy was prepared at that moment to give everything he had with him there on that hill with all those 5,000 people listening to Jesus. He was prepared to give everything he had to share with others. And even though it might have seemed, what good is that? Something amazing happened, and it happened because that young boy was prepared to share what he had. So we all need to be prepared to share. God calls us to share. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's part of our responsibility. And I know when I do it, it gives us a good feeling inside when we're able to share with others, particularly with others who perhaps are less fortunate than us. And when we do say yes to sharing, as we heard in the story, really, really amazing things can happen through God. So let's give it a go. And what I'd like you to do, just in a quiet moment, is to think about what and how you can share. So let's just take a moment's quiet while we think about what we can share and who we can share it with. And so let's pray. Father God, we thank you for everything that we have. Please help us to think of those less fortunate than ourselves. Please help us to be prepared to share, even when it's hard, with those around us and those we know who are in need. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Father Malcolm. Sing a song. Uh, I think it's one we've sung before, but we'll, we'll just go through it with you. And it's one about faith. And you know, Jesus performed many miracles. We've heard about one of them this morning. And at the heart of those miracles was Jesus' faith that God could work through him and the faith of his followers that Jesus was God's messenger, God's son, who could do so many amazing things. 
with the people that he'd come to save. And so we're going to sing a song called Faith as Small as a Mustard Seed. And uh, it, it basically goes like this. So Can I just if, say something? Yeah. Yes. You think about, probably most of you know this, but a mustard seed is absolutely tiny. But when it grows, particularly in uh, hotter countries, it can grow into a very big plant. So this song is all about how if we are prepared to share something quite small in our life, God can do amazing things. Does that make sense? Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. So it goes like this. And if you watch Joe, she'll just do the action. A tiny mustard seed. Imagine your tiny mustard seed between your index finger and your thumb. So here we go. Faith is small as a mustard seed can move mountains, can move mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. And we sing that through twice. Okay? And then it has a chorus which goes like this. Believe what Jesus said was true. Believe he meant it just for you. Wait and see what God will do if you pray, as you pray. Okay? Then we go back into the chorus. Right. You'll get, you'll pick it up as we go along. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, can move mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, can move mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Believe what Jesus said was true. Believe he meant it just for you. Wait and see what God will do as you pray, as you pray. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, move mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, can move mountains. Mountains, faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Believe what Jesus said was true. Believe He meant it just for you. Wait and see what God will do as you pray, as you pray. Faith as small as a mustard seed. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, move mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains in the power of God. Brilliant singing. You picked that up really well. Well done. Well done, everyone. Let's just now bow our heads to end our worship with God's blessing. God, give us grace to follow his son Jesus in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and upon our school today and always. Amen. Amen. Well, we look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a good week yourselves and uh, hold on to that bit of faith and don't be afraid to share. Absolutely. Keep sharing. Bye. 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 Bye.